Hey YouTube, it's Moto Madman. And believe it or not, today is December the 26th. That's right, it is the day after Christmas. Not only is it not snowing here in northern, northeastern Ohio, it's 54 degrees. It, yeah, it's a bit breezy. Probably any normal day would probably be on the Sportster instead of the VFR. But man, I needed the V4 today. So we're on the VFR. But boy, who would have thought? I mean, this, to be honest with you, feels a whole lot more like the Christmases I'm used to in Virginia or North Carolina than it does Ohio. I, and it, I'll be perfectly honest with you, most of the time I miss Virginia in the summertime more than in the wintertime. And I know it sounds kind of weird, but what it is is in the summertime I miss not having a beach. But right now, being on, on the V4 the day after Christmas in this kind of weather, yeah, buddy, I'm homesick. <laughs> yeah, I am. But anyway, wanted to talk a little bit about a few things. Number one, I want to thank everybody for uh, jumping on there and subscribing to Mrs. Moto Matman's channel and getting her past 100 subs. I, I really, really do appreciate that, and so does she. She's really excited about it, and, and it's motivated her more to start putting out new content. As a matter of fact, she was out on her on her sporty earlier today. Um, she, she's really excited about it. She got a new GoPro for Christmas and a Purple Panda mic um, so that uh, we could boost up her audio quality because in the past what she was having to do was she was shooting all her video with with my GoPro but the audio she was capturing using um, the GoPro backpack which works really well but the, the quality of the audio is not what it is not the same as when you have a microphone plugged directly into the GoPro now she wasn't sure what how much she was really going to use it or what she really needed so she didn't want to go ahead and, and break out and get uh, a GoPro 7 or a GoPro 8 and I'll be honest one of the things was is she didn't like the idea of having to have the special mic adapter um, you know so what she ended up with is what she picked out which was a GoPro Hero 3 plus black so yeah it is a it is a few years old it doesn't have the video stabilization that the new ones have but you know she could shoot in a 2.7 K super view um, which is what I shoot most of my videos in anyway um, I've seen a lot of people doing the 4k stuff and a lot of people talking about how long it takes to upload the videos and 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 the file size and all of that but anyway that that's what she got so she went out and she tested that out and that, that was pretty awesome um, and what she what she's gonna do is that video is gonna come out uh, I'm gonna get it edited um, and get that video out on on Wednesday um, which will probably be the same day that this video comes out and then um, she's waiting until that when until that Wednesday to do her drawing and the reason is is that way she gives as many people as possible the chance to comment on her Christmas video so that um, they have a chance to 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 win um, the other thing I want to talk about is I, I want to talk about the 
the, the support network and how awesome that is and the hashtag support MVC and how great that is. I don't know how many of you all out there are um, on some of like the Facebook groups, but I tell you what, uh, the, the support network is, is a whole lot better. Uh, everybody is there, just like it says, to support everybody else and to help everybody out. Um, not, not all the negativity and everything else. The people are genuinely wanting to help. So if, if they have any, I, any kind of criticism, and, and I don't really, it's not really the word I need, you know, but it's constructive criticism. It's not, hey, your audio sucks, or hey, your camera angle is stupid, or who, who would want to watch this crap? It's, okay, maybe you need to capture your audio using an external microphone, or, and here's the mic that I use, or have you tried this, or have you tried that? You know, great job starting out, but maybe you want to do this or maybe you want to do that. And that's awesome. Now, on the Facebook groups, I'll be perfectly honest with you. People get downright nasty, you know, saying things like, seriously, like who would want to watch this crap or why, what a, what a effing waste of time this was. You know, I can't get this time back in my life. I've even had guys make comments about um you know I've, I've used pictures to promote the video hey you know this is what's coming up um in two days in three days things like that i did that with with my giveaway letting people know you know trying to, basically trying to hype the video and and i had one guy that is not even a content creator that had only ever posted two things not just to the facebook group but to facebook itself making nasty comments and saying hey I'm not here to look at pictures and read what you have to say I'm here to watch videos which of course all of us know hey we really don't want you watching the videos on Facebook we want you to you know where you know the the video plays just because you've stopped on that post we want you to go on to our YouTube channel we don't really get the same kind of credit if you're just sitting there staring at the video as it roll, scrolls through on Facebook. But, and people, I've seen people talking about the, how other people look and, and just being downright nasty. So again, I want to give a big props, you know, to the support network big thumbs up to everybody and I want to thank everybody for all the help they've done for me and for Mrs. Moto Matman and and I try to reciprocate I try to give you know anybody has a question what should I try what kind of camera how do you capture your dual vlogs that sort of thing I, I try to then you know reach back out to them and and give them the props hey, I'm gonna stop here at the gas station I need to get a monster in my vapey things my what I call my smoky things or like an e-cig I'll talk about that in a minute too and why I'm at the gas station all the time but anyway I'll, I'll pick this back up when I jump back on the bike Okay, everybody, back on the bike, back down on, back out on the road. All right, here's the deal. First of all, I have like two addictions. Well, I guess you could say three. I'm addicted to Monster Energy. Used to be addicted to Dr. Pepper, kind of still am. And I was a smoker for a long, long time. And I replaced the regular cigarettes with e-cigs. Um, so it's kind of it's kind of vaping, but it's it's um, Views is the, is the brand that I use. Um, they feel more like having a cigarette in your mouth. And the big thing is is not so much the addiction to nicotine. It's the hand to mouth 
thing that I did for so long. But anyway, back to what I was talking about. And that was about uh, uh, the Facebook groups. I mean, there was even one, one guy that made a comment uh, about the, the way that Mrs. Moto Matman looked and that um, people needed to go to his YouTube channel because he had all the hot chicks on, on his channel. And I, I went to his channel and I, I checked it out and it was all about the chicks and then he was a thought he was a stunter. He was a wannabe star boy. And I don't know how many of y'all know who the star boys were, but the star boys were really the the first group to hit it big with doing the motorcycle the parking lot stunts and the riding the wheelies on the highways and stuff. Um, and they're from up around here. They're from, they were from the, the Akron, Ohio area. And I mean, they, they became like rock stars. Um, that's, that's how big they became. They were traveling all over the world doing the, the stunts. And, and whatnot, and that's that's what this guy thinks he is. But anyway, I, I I'll be honest with you. You know, if if I wa if I were to watch somebody's channel and and didn't like their content, I just wouldn't watch their channel. You know, I'm I'm not gonna post something negative on there. It, it doesn't do anybody any good. You know, and some of these, like I said, you had the one guy that's not even a content creator that's putting nasty comments and stuff on on everybody's videos. Um, you know, talking trash, and, and I, I responded one time to one of his comments, basically telling him to get a life, and he said, oh, why? Because I ride such and such a bike? Because he rides a an enduro uh, you know a dual purpose not even a real supermoto but just a dual purpose and and no it had nothing to do with what you ride dude it had to do with the fact that you were being nasty and and there was no place for it and you're not creating content you're just trolling other people's videos and talking trash about other people's videos but again the, the main point of this was to say how awesome the support network is and how how great this is and you know it, it, for those of you that may not know uh, Dirty D's channel is the one that started the whole thing and I want to put a, a great big huge shout out to him about how awesome of an idea it was and and how great this has been um you know when i first started out i was capturing all my audio using the the gopro backpack and there are other content creators that, that have become huge doing the same thing um 650 eve if you've never seen his channel um he makes his living off of off of motor vlogging and and creating content on YouTube, being a, a, a social media influencer, I guess is how he puts it. But he uses the same setup that I was using. The, the GoPro Hero 4 Black and the GoPro, the, the Senna backpack for the GoPro. Um, but having people say, hey, have you, have you tried just hard wiring your mic in there, you know? I tried that and when I first tried it um, the first mic that I tried was only recording in mono and I had several people reach out to me on my videos and, and make comments about the fact that you know it's only coming through one one speaker on their computer and hey have you tried the purple panda mic so the purple panda mic is is what I'm using now I'm still using my GoPro Hero 4 black 
The purple panda mic is also what I got for uh, Mrs. Moto Matman for Christmas. Um, great product. If you haven't tried it yourself or if you're looking for a mic, uh, an external mic to try, um, it'd be a, a really great choice. Um, when people first mentioned it to me, I went online and started researching it and um, checked out some some other moto bloggers channels some of the bigger channels and found a lot of them using it as well um, I've also tried a Sony stereo microphone and it works great the, the problem is is it's not really the best thing for using inside your helmet it, it's awesome for off the bike kind of stuff but anyway that, that's basically what i wanted to get to it's an awesome day roads are kind of wet and then whatnot but you know 54 degrees outside the day after christmas can't beat that um mrs moto Matman's going to be doing her subscriber drawing um not this this thursday not today um but next thursday she's going to be doing that she's going to have a video out in between then i want to thank everybody for their for the support that they've shown her channel if you have not gone to her chat checked out her channel um give give it a give it a shot um you know please be patient she's just starting um and, and to be honest i mean i'm still just starting um but thank you, thank you everybody for your support of my channel and of hers. Um, and uh, a huge shout out to, to Dirty D's and uh, starting the support network. And I, I forget, I'm not positive, I think it was the Geared Raven that came up with the idea of the hashtag support MVC as opposed to just hashtag support because that takes you everywhere. Um, but a big shout out for that. Um, I, I know it was what it was the Geared Raven or um, uh, Motorcycle Mama or or um, Bombshell Biker. It, it's one of one of the women in the uh, Mama Mafia that that did this. And, and again, check out all of their channels as well. Um, but anyway, I'm going to cut it off here, I guess. Uh, I'm going to end the ride. We've got, got a bunch of things we still got to do. And just because it's the holidays doesn't mean that softball stops. And <laughs> the oldest has softball practice this evening. But I, I hope everybody had, a, had an awesome and a blessed uh, Christmas and holiday season. Um, or uh, are enjoying Han the Hanukkah season. Um, but anyway, again, thank you everybody. If you like what you see, I know I rambled a whole lot, but hey, it's 54 degrees in Ohio the day after Christmas. I mean, you got to cut me some slack, then I'd be rambling. This is insane. Anyway, if you like what you see, make sure you click the like and the subscribe button and, and punch that bell. And I'll be seeing you all again next week. Have an awesome week. If you get out on two, make sure you keep the shiny side up, the rubber side down. Have a great day.